We continue learning Rabbi Nuyayna Zeshari Tshuva. We're up to page 510. In the art school edition, we're in the middle of discussing the Kata of Shakranim. Just to remind ourselves, this entire Shar are those that are in on Mikablin Pene Ashkina. Rahmat al Islam that one will not be Zaycha to greet the Shekhina. It's true, we're pointing out they're up to the six of the most severe within the Kat of Shakranim. We started with the most severe, and we're working away from that. But it's important that we're within this larger category of terrible Averis, of Enum Ekablim, Pinei Hashchina. Says Rabbi Yoyna Chilik Hashishi, HaMavtich is Chavir of Leitiv Yimayim, someone who promises his friend that he'll give him something, V'yishakar Dvar of Yosef Lekel Milasai. But he makes his words a lie, and he treats his statement as nothing. He doesn't bother to even carry it out. And even though... When he first told him he's going to do it, he didn't really think that he's not going to do it. So previously, Rabbi Yonah taught us that it has to be that when you say it, you had a mind not to do it. And here, maybe you had a mind to do it. Even still, But since he said it in a manner that he assured him he's going to do it, And your friend trusted on you. You have to be so careful not to violate your avtacha, your promise. Because if you do violate, it's a mannerism of sheker, like one who broke a bris, a covenant. What is the Navi Svanya teaches? The remnants of Kla Yisrael, Lo Yasu Avla. They will not commit corruption. They will not speak falsehood. You will not find a deceitful tongue amongst them. And similarly, if one says, let's, let's just realize, when you planned on saying it, your words were seemingly true. But because you said them in such a strong way, with such a haftacha, and then you didn't follow through, makes it into a sheker. And similarly, it says, And even if you say you're going to give your friends a small present, you didn't say haftacha. To back out of giving that which you said you're going to do, it's considered one who is one who lacks worthiness, trustliness. Because your friend relied upon you, but by trusted in you, because you said you're going to give it to him, and it's not such a big present. So he thought you're going to do it. So now to not do it is you have to surely give it to him. And if the recipient is poor, even if the gift is large, it's even worse if you renege. Why? Because when he says he gives it to the poor man, he basically made a neder. Why? Because it's a form of tzedakah. You can't desecrate your words. How careful we have to be. When one says you're going to give to the poor, that creates a form of neder. Therefore, you can't back out. If someone in front of other people say he'll give a gift to someone else, and he's like one who puts praise upon himself for his generosity. And he's always come up talk, it's a form of talk. In front of other people, you say you're going to give to someone. It's a form of promise. And then after you get the honor, oh, you're going to give that guy such and such. And then you back out. It's not nothing. King Shenemar, as the Apostlech says in Mishlei, Nesia Baruch, Vigashem Ayin, clouds and winds without rain. So too, Ish Misalab Mata Shaker is one who puts praise upon someone for false gifts. The clouds are there, but the rain doesn't come. Pirush, Kimoshi, Sarabini, Adam Akhre, Boisi, Mani, Agesh, Loba, Geshem. Like the pain that we're in, let's say someone's a farmer and he needs rain and he looks outside and the clouds are there and it looks like it's going to rain and then it doesn't rain. Such anguish and such pain. So too, if someone puts praise upon someone else in a false gift, the fact that he praised himself is a, it shows that, that he seems like he's going to do it. Therefore, the person, when he doesn't get it, is hurt as his hopes are dashed, as he feels so bad that he didn't get such a matana. We conclude today with the Ashvi, the seventh group of liars, Mishamates Chaveroi, someone who deceives his friend, Lamar Kelsey, he says you'll do something good for him, or he spoke favorably to someone on his behalf, and he didn't do it. You tell someone, oh, I told Reuben how great you are. No, you didn't. 
You tell Reuven, by the way, I did this favor for you. No, you didn't. Amr is a chana the bracha teaches Gmar Nechulin. Asr lignoi das abrios afilu dasko. You're not allowed to steal the das of someone else. A difficult, critical, important area to focus on. The gzela of das. You can't steal someone else's mind. And this chait is chomari to chach we saw Yosef against the guy is even greater than stealing from a guy. Yan biyain kisva sheker hashmas rabba because words of falsehood are a terrible sin. When it's chayvu al gidre ames, and we're responsible to make sure that we're bound to truth. Kihum yisaidi anefesh because truth is the foundation, is the aside of our neshama. How important we have to be with our words, not even to steal the das of someone else.